hey guys welcome to my channel my name is fatima in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys through my morning shower routine i haven't filmed a shower routine in forever so i'm excited to go through this with you guys of course the first thing that i'm going to do today is get out of bed i was parched so i drank some water and of course i'm going to make my bed now we're gonna go right into the bathroom to get things started um, I'm gonna start off of course by brushing my teeth I'm just putting my hair up using this fuzzy headband and I have officially moved on from regular toothbrushes onto electric an electric toothbrush and I am never going back my teeth feel so clean it makes honestly to me I feel like it makes a really big difference this is the Philips Sonicare 4100 I believe I got it on sale and like I said I really do like it I'll link it down below for you guys next we're flossing I'm using my double floss pick from Grin and I'm making sure to use this before I mouthwash just so that my mouthwash can go in and rinse anything out that is now loose in my mouth as a mouthwash I'm going in with my staple TheraBreath which is the best for keeping your breath fresh all day I always try to make sure that I rinse and gargle for the recommended time which is 60 seconds and then I'm going in and washing my lashes I'm making sure to do this before i wash my face i feel like it just makes sense to do this first i got this whole lash kit from amazon it's so convenient i'll link it down below for you guys but i always try to make sure to wash my lashes it really helps to retain them i always have something on my face whether it's makeup obviously all of my skincare there's like always like oils and creams and stuff so that can get onto your lashes and make them fall out next i'm going in with this cream cleanser from numbuzin which is a korean skincare i've talked about them before but i am obsessed with this face wash it leaves my face feeling really nice and squeaky clean and a little gold a long way with this cleanser like i took the smallest amount of cleanser and it lathers up amazingly which i love and now mask time obviously i don't do this every day but since i really wanted to pamper myself today i'm using this kiehl's deep pore clay mask this really helps to tighten your pores get rid of blackheads so i'm applying that with my little applicator and then we're headed to the kitchen for a little small breakfast while this dries You guys know I love my chai tea, so I made the same thing this morning. Like every other morning, I wanted hot chai tea though, so I went in with a tea bag with some oat milk and sugar. So good. I don't drink coffee, so I always drink tea in the morning as my small dose of caffeine. now i'm gonna take my multivitamins lately i've been using these ritual multivitamins these are their essential for women plus they're clinically backed and made with high quality nutrients they're vegan friendly non-gmo gluten-free major allergen free without extras and artificial colorants so these are really good for you these are also delayed release so they're designed to dissolve later in the small intestine which is an ideal place to absorb nutrients no matter how balanced your diet is some nutrients are just hard to get enough of from food alone essential for women 18 plus was designed to help fill these gaps with nine key nutrients in just two daily capsules so you guys start a daily ritual that you can feel good about ritual is offering you guys 30 percent off during your first month so scan my qr code on screen or visit ritual.com slash fatima 30 to start today and honestly you guys i was literally only planning on drinking my chai tea and going back to the bathroom to continue my routine but i was so hungry so i decided to make myself one egg and one turkey bacon and i tried to eat quickly because this mask was getting tight on my face and i was itching to get it off literally shower cap is on we're in the bathroom ready to take our shower so of course the first thing i'm gonna do is get this mask off of my face um but this felt really nice and good i loved how it actually felt like it was genuinely cleansing my skin this mask and then i went in with my staple product you guys know how much i love this this is a dr bronner's soap in tea tree their tea tree scent 
and I'm using that in my sensitive areas, I guess you could say, so my underarms and my girl down there. I do feel like soap is essential to use on my girl down there, and I do not feel like water is enough for me, at least. And I've been using the Dr. Bronner soap for months with no issues. Obviously, see what works for you and what your body reacts well to or does not react well to. The Dr. Bronner's was a little bit of like a pre-wash on my intimate areas, and then I went in with this Method Body Wash, which lathers really well as like my full body wash and i'm using exfoliating gloves to wash my body i love exfoliating gloves it makes me feel so clean then i'm using pen oxyl i'm using this on my underarms this is supposed to be really good to remove any odor causing bacteria on your underarms they say to leave it on for around 30 seconds to three minutes i've only been using this for a couple washes so i don't know if i'm seeing actual results but i'll keep you guys updated next we're shaving so i'm using the eos shave cream which is one of my favorites and this three blade women's razor i'm only shaving my legs because i started doing laser on my underarms and on my bikini area i don't really shave my bikini area unless it's time to do laser and the same thing goes for my underarms honestly and i feel like not shaving as much really does help to reduce any ingrowns or any darkness and also because i'm doing laser and it's going pretty well this time around i just have less hair so it's easier for me to get away with doing this now i'm finally rinsing out the pen oxyl and then I'm going in with my second body wash. I'm using the Naturium Glow Getter Body Wash. I've been dying to get my hands on this because I've seen so many great things about this, especially on TikTok. But this body wash is supposed to make your skin glowy and smooth. I've even seen people claim that it's like reduced their KP. So I've recently started using this, so I don't have all of that to say about it because I'm just getting used to the product. But I will say it definitely makes me feel moisturized when I leave my shower, which is why I like to put it on as my last step. Last, last step is to clean underneath my nails obviously with applying makeup eating all that stuff there's usually a little bit of something underneath my nails this gets rid of absolutely everything i love this brush i use a little bit of dr bronner's and i brush underneath and on top of my nails and we're now getting out of the shower finally turning the water off getting my towel and we're going straight into body lotion i do not like to wait a lot of time to apply my body lotion because i like for my skin to be really nice and damp i'm using the osea body oil and i'm also using my favorite of all time the eos body cream it smells so good that mixed with this body oil it's very moisturizing it smells amazing it's a staple as you guys can see i'm glowing shower cap came off and i'm putting my hair into a clock clip because we're getting ready to do skincare but before we go into our skincare i'm gonna go ahead and use some witch hazel to clean my ears if you're like me and you're always wearing a shower cap to go into the shower i feel like it's so hard to clean that area of your ears like behind your ears even in your ears like the front of it so i try to just clean it with witch hazel when i get out of the shower because i did not i was not able to reach that area with water and soap so of course i'm cleaning the back and then i'm also cleaning inside the nooks and crannies of my ear and now we're finally going into skincare i'm starting off with the serum from good molecules which i like to use to even my skin tone get rid of dark marks things of that sort so we're going in with that first of course with skincare you always go in with lightest product to most thickest and i like to go in with my eye cream before i put on my moisturizer just so that my skin can really absorb it so i'm using another kills product for my under eyes as my moisturizer i'm using this aqua source plump gel i love this moisturizer it is so hydrating i love to use it before i apply on makeup and just on like any days where i'm just using skincare alone it is very hydrating and then i'm going in with my favorite sunscreen of all time this is the la roche posay sunscreen i love it it's not too oily or greasy it's completely invisible and it just feels great on the skin and last but not least i'm brushing my lashes out i like to brush my lashes out with two brushes <laughs> um i feel like it just makes so much sense but that's what i'm doing and then i'm going in with my deodorant this is the dove one it's like my staple it's my go-to i feel like it does the job so 
And just like that, we're done in the bathroom. We're done with that portion of things. Let's go ahead and put some loungewear on. I'm wearing this one piece from Aritzia. The jacket that I'm gonna be wearing is also from Aritzia. And honestly, you guys, I wear way too much workout clothes for me to not work out. I haven't worked out since I came back from Kenya, which is crazy. So anyways, I'm going in with perfume, obviously. If I'm staying in the house, if I'm leaving the house, it doesn't matter, I'm always wearing perfume. This is the beach walk by replica smells so freaking good and so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video of course do not forget to shop ritual multivitamins or really any product off of the website use my link for 30 percent off and i'll see you guys in the next one if you guys like the video like comment and subscribe Mwah.